All right, check this out. FedEx just dropped these boxes off and I have a feeling I know exactly what's in there, but maybe not exactly what's in there. Maybe we should check this thing out. Let's see what we got here. That's a pretty big box. I don't know, man. Look at that. Sony Mobile ES, two-way speakers. Dang! Does that come with its own box too? I didn't even know that was a thing. Look at that thing, dude. Check this out. It works with Apple CarPlay, it's Wi-Fi certified, and works with Android Auto. Best in the biz right there. Yeehaw, look at this. That's a, that's a whole thing right there. So I have found the perfect spot for this. We're gonna put it right here. Right there. So the passenger, it's almost like a foot massage and great bass for your music all at the same time. But actually, I think it should go right there. Yeah, it fits freaking perfect. It's like this little space in the rear firewall right here. And I was like, that's where the sub should go. And now that I'm here checking it out, I think it'll work. Wow, they take that off too. That was easy. That's a much better looking unit right there. Also, thought it might be worth mentioning, this sick ass headliner that I put some freaking fake snake skin over. Burt Reynolds would be proud. Yeah! That's what we're looking for. It's got a little bezel around it that came with our mounting kit. And they go on the side and it's got these, I don't know, plastic things. And then they have like clips. So you screw it to the side of the head unit and they push it in there and it has like little retainer clips in here. And so it clips in both sides. And then now, it's super sturdy. This is a very good mounting system actually. But looks good, clean, fits well. I'm stoked on it. So what's next? Um, next wires. Everything's mounted in there. Just need to run the wires and get all hooked up. So we have our RCAs. I gotta go get some power cable still, speaker wire, and then off the top of my head, I think that's all I need. And then this one goes here, and then this one goes here. Okay. And then this is gonna send all of our signals to all of our controlling things. All right, here we are back inside and I got uh, our little sub thing. I put these little mounting pedestals on here so we have something to bolt to. And I'm thinking it's gonna go right here and I wanna space it off the ground a little bit. So something kind of like, here they're identical with the door. Yeah, that broke. that yep and so now we got this thing lined up on the high points of the ridges so that way we're not trying to drill any screws in these weird angles here go me and this is our next piece we have to do we got our sub in here this is our little four channel speaker amp so we're gonna have uh, this amp running all of our speakers and I need to mount this as well and I want to put it right back here I think I'm gonna do it like that you know, right here somewhere. Just cause uh, I think that'll look pretty good with these things sitting in line, looking nice. Look, I put it up. All right, got our holes drilled in this thing. Let's put it together. That looks nice. I guess I didn't show, but I put some speakers in here. That's pretty easy. We got our speakers here. Looks like I need to take the door apart and uh, see if these are gonna fit, like, at all, because I have no idea. All right, so this is our snakeskin headliner. I have now finished putting in pretty much all the stereo bits, door speakers, head unit, other door speaker, sub, amp, 
There's speakers back here. They're identical to the door speakers. And I don't really feel like doing any wiring right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the headliner back in because I'm kind of tired of looking up there. I went around and glued all the edges down as I did it and they stuck pretty good, honestly. But the only thing is the front bit here, there's still some not super great spots. So I'm gonna put some Gorilla Tape on it and then I'm gonna put it in. So we got the headliner in and it looks sick. Wait, let me get this light here to actually see it. It doesn't really look like snakeskin that much. So we shine some light on it and you can kind of see it. Never done this before, first time. Pretty freaking proud of it to be honest. Three hours later. <laughs> yeah. It actually went a bit quicker than I thought. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder, but once I started doing it, I was like, okay, it kind of makes sense. And then I think it started working out a bit better. It's because you're a professional. Okay, I'm freaking pro-pro now.